Hola, hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches, teacher. Buenas noches. Vamos a ver cuándo estamos, estamos ya siete. Ok, eh, un par de estudiantes, no sé si en esta clase dijeron que no iban a venir. No sé si aquí ya voy a rectificar. Sí, aquí fue. Ok, perfecto. Um, let me just take a look. Uh, there we go. Ok, guys. Now, remember yesterday that we were talking about uh, the addresses. Ahí estamos hablando de las direcciones y proposiciones, ¿se acuerdan? Yes. Hello. Yes, yes. Okay, there you go. So, I just going to turn on the light. I do apologize. There we go. Because there's not enough light here. Okay. Ahí es suficiente luz. So, voy a compartir la pantalla en este momento. Ok, vamos a compartir pantalla. And sound. Ok. So, yesterday we were talking about the addresses. Ayer estamos hablando de position of place. Now, we're just going to check this. Vamos a abarcar con esto. Please, I, I need you to pay attention. Por favor, esto que prestemos atención. Ok. It is a conversation. Hold on, please. Page 89. Exercise 6. Listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise 5. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. 3. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So, it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. 4. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's Coffee Shop. Okay, thanks. Ok, guys, solo voy a dejar de compartir un momento y vamos a escuchar parte por parte. ¿Ve mi pantalla de momento? ¿No? Sí, 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 sí. Ok. There you go. No. The bank. Ok, vamos a prestar atención hoy pues sí, parte por parte. Ok. <coughs> Voy a ir, ok, poniendo bank. Ok. There you go. Hold on, please. Solo espera un rato más. Ok, ahorita solo vamos a escuchar una vez más, pero la primera parte. Vamos a ir punto por punto. Where is it? And look at the map. Where is it? And look at the map. Todos tienen su mapa ahí o quieren que se lo comparta directo. Sí, mejor se lo comparto. Por favor. Ok, perfecto. Listen and look at the map. In exercise five, listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant. Okay. 
Hold on, please. Espera un ratito. Page. There you go. Yes. Entonces, vamos punto por punto once again. Okay. Let's pay attention here. Once again. 89. Exercise 6. Listening. Where is it? Look at the map. As 5. Listen to four conversations. We Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Main Street. Okay. It is a Main Street. Ooh. Okay. I think it's a Main Street. Mm -hmm. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Near of the Irinche, no, I don't know. Emergency Movie Theater? Si está cerca pronto. Okay. Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Right across. Right across. ¿Qué significa right across? Wow. Ok. Es como puesto, ¿verdad? Right across. Uh -huh. O casi enfrente en este caso. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ok. What's happened here? Ok, so, what were they looking? ¿Qué es lo que estaban buscando ellos? Main the street. bank. The bank. Excellent. There you go. The bank. Ok. Now, let me just take a look. Hold on once again. We're going to listen for the next conversation. Ok. Don't know what's happening. No worries, guys. Ok. No worries. I don't know if someone else can do the audio. I don't know what's happening. No. I do apologize. Perdón, perdón, perdón. I don't know what's wrong. Okay. So, uno ya dijo, the bank. Page 89. Okay. There yeah, you go. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Okay. So, it was here. It's between the restaurant and Luff's. So, ¿qué fue lo que estaban buscando? Between, medio, the bank, ¿ok? ¿Se entiende un momento? Yes, the bank. Así que están buscando el bank. Ok, so you have to pay attention to this. Ok, the next one is going to ask, where are they going? There are three answers here. There are Love's Department Store, Davis Drug Store, or Maria's Restaurant. Remember about that, ok? Now, vamos a checar nuevamente. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes. Maria's restaurant. Let's go into the look for Maria's restaurant. Okay. Near Maria's restaurant. This is Maria's restaurant. Is it near? ¿Qué significaba near? Cerca. 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 Yes. Is it near to Maria's restaurant? Aquí está Maria's. Okay. It is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P and J supermarket. Como dijo, ¿es en dónde está? ¿En qué en qué calle? ¿O en qué avenida? Second Avenue. Second Avenue. Okay. ¿Y en par de dónde? Next to P J supermarket. 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 Okay. Let me just take a look. Where is the supermarket? Well, ah yes. Okay. Now. Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Oh. Yes, it's between ¿qué? Center. Okay. 2nd Avenue, Vector. So, what they were looking for. ¿Qué es lo que estaban buscando? Tienen dos opciones aquí. Una opción, perdón. Mm -hmm. David Drugstore. Sí, Davis. Drugstore. Drug Store. Yes, David's Drug Store. There you go. Excellent. Very good. Now, vamos a ver nuevamente la tercera. Where are they going? Love's Department Store, the bank, or Maria's Restaurant. Prestemos atención. Love's, the bank, or Maria's. Let's going to pay attention. Love, the bank, or Maria's. Now, van a ir? Okay. Thank you very much. Now, Three. Where is it? 
Well, it's near the movie theater. Movie theater. I understand movie theater here. Yes. Edificio Morado es este, ve. Movie theater. No se alcanza de por esto, pues. Okay. Near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No. It's on Main. No. Is it on Park Street? Look at here. Park Street. There is this Park Street. So it's in Park Street? Main Street. Next to the bank. Cerca de eso, ¿dónde está? Del banco. Del banco. Del banco. Okay, let's go and just one. It's on Second Avenue between Main and Center. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of... Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, no lo sé por qué ahorita no está cargando, pero de igual manera... Okay, let me just take a look. Sí, no, no me está cargando correctamente. Okay, pero de igual manera estoy segura que ustedes ya solo vemos por la 3 y la 4. Okay, so obviously it wasn't not to the bank store, no era bank store. I think there was... Si sí, dijo que love store. Ya habíamos hecho love department store, ¿verdad? Si mal no me recuerdo. Entonces, sí. ajá. So, solo queda esta, la número cuatro. Ahorita no me está cargando y no quiero que perdamos el tiempo. Ok. Just hold on, please. Hold on. Ok. Let me just take a look at something. Estoy buscándole algo. Okay, there you go. Okay. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary you must learn. Four questions. How do I get to and we mentioned the place? Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. For answers, walk up, go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the... Okay, word. guys, if you want me. Walk up, okay, that's going to stop. Up. If you want me, just hold on. Bye. Oh, nice. Okay, if you... I'm just... Uh, if I'm just reporting something. If you want... Uh, 
Okay, now let's go just to give addresses because this is conversation, yes, and directions. Okay, hold on, please. It said far from me. ¿Quién sabe qué significa far? ¿Quién sabe qué significa far? ¿Alguien que me lo diga? Far. Far. It said far from Una here. Granja. We're talking about. Es okay. está cerca de aquí. Okay. Farm con M. Pay attention in this one. Farm is granja. Correcto, chicos. But here we're talking about distances. Estamos hablando de distancias. Is it far? Está lejos. From here. Está lejos de aquí. Okay. So we're going to step by step. Remember about the addresses. Conversation. How to give addresses y cómo preguntar, ok, solo voy a trazarlo un poquito, ok, now, um, I'm sorry but I'm just going to do it that you guys read this, lo siento pero van a tener que leer, excuse me, ok, we're going to start from Janet Yanira, please, ok, hold on please, could you read it, ok, excuse me ma'am, can you help me? How I how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Continue, please, Jenny Gloryville. I just just walk up this visited avenue to uh, Fifty Street. Uh, S. Patrick's is on the right. Right. Okay, continue, please, Susie. It's near Rockefeller Center. Okay, continue, please. The next one. You must. Uh, Wendy Hernandez. I guess Wendy Hernandez. Continue, please. Yes. Yes, it's right across from. Rockefeller Center. Okay. Now, let's continue. Please, Sandra Beatriz. Continue. Después lo vamos a pronunciar correctamente. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Building. There you go. Ya lo vamos a pronunciar. Excellent. Sara Arguera. Sara Arguera, please. All right. When you host your around, I'm looking for. Okay, excellent. And now, no, with me, please. It's right. Just turn around and look up the word. Eh? Okay. Guys, repeat with me. Lo voy a repetir conmigo. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? Excuse, Excuse me, me man. Can you help, can you me? help me? Okay. How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? How do I, do I get, get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? There you go. Excellent, excellent. Now, just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. Just just avenue, avenue, avenue to 5th Street. 5th Street, there you go. St. Patrick, Patrick is on the right. St. Patrick is on the right. Okay, there you go. Now, is it near Rockefeller Center? Is it, is it, is it near, near Rockefeller, Rockefeller Center? Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Yes, yes. yes. it is right, 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 right across, across from Rockefeller, Rockefeller Center. 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 There you go. Okay, thank you. And where is the, repeat, where is the? Thank you. Thank you. Where is the? Where is the? Empire State Building. Empire, Empire State, State, State Building. 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 Okay. Building. 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 Now, I need you to guys repeat building. 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 Okay. Building. Is it far from here? 
Is it far, far, far from here? Far from here. here. Okay. It's right behind you. It's, it's right, right behind you. you. Okay. Now, just turn around and look. Just, just turn, turn around, around and look. And look. Up. Okay. Now, quiero que repitan esto, please. Uh, Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. Avenue. Fifth Avenue. Okay. Now, there you go. Empire State Building. Empire State, State Building. Building. Once again, Empire State Building. Empire State Building. Empire State Building. Okay. Right behind you. Right behind you. Ojo, aquí dice right behind, pero no es que está diciendo derecha atrás. If it's true, right, it means derecha, pero también significa eh, estás en lo correcto. You are right, that's right, es correcto. It is right, está justo detrás de ti. Okay. It's right behind you. Okay. Now, uh, Turn around and look up. Repeat. Turn around, Turn around, around, around and look, and look, and look up. up. Excellent. Very good. Vamos a avanzar. Ahorita solo son direcciones básicas. Tranquilos, no se preocupen. Lo que más me importaba a mí era lo de las preposiciones, ¿verdad? Okay. Now. It says knowledge check. Don't worry. Get stamps. Se recuerdan de las mm. palabras, ok, presten atención a esto, se recuerdan de las palabras compuestas, ¿sí? Ay. Yes. Sí. ¿Qué significan las palabras compuestas? Dos palabras que al unirse forman una palabra nueva. Ok, ¿qué significa drugstore? Farmacia. Ok, movie theater. Cine. Teatro. Teatro. Sí, son extraños como que lo traducimos literal, pero realmente es el cine. El cine. Es el cine para ver películas. Ahora, actualmente en este léxico, en estos días, ya no se ocupa Let's go to the movie theater. Eso lo ocupan tiempo, tiempo, tiempo atrás, tal vez como en los 80. Actualmente <risa> dicen Let's go to the movies. Tal cual. Ok. Eh, I don't know, there are some words that it's also like that. Let's go to the bar. Okay. Let's go to the discotheque. Ya no ocupan discotheque. Now let's say, they say, let's go to the club. Es automáticamente como decir el antro, club. Okay. Now, let's go to see. Vamos a ver. Where can the woman, y obviamente la pregunta también, ¿verdad? Can get the stamps. When can the woman get stamps? Units 13 to 14, progress check. Page 98, exercise one, listening. What are you looking for? Listen to the conversations. Blanca. What do the people need? Where can they get or find it? Complete the chart. One. What are you looking for? I'm mailing some letters and I need some stamps. Well, you can get some at the drugstore. They sell stamps. Oh, great. Thanks. Drugstore. Drugstore. Let's go into this. So what do we need? I think we have everything. Sandwiches, fruit salad, cookies. Oh, wait. We don't have any drinks. Let's stop we at the supermarket have... on the way there. What do there. they need? We can get some lemonade. Drink. Good idea. They need drinks. They need drinks. Excellent. Three. Where's the gas station? Excuse me, is there a gas station around here? Um, I think there's a gas station on the corner of Main and First. Just drive down Main Street for four blocks. It's on the left. I you can't it? miss it. I'm glad the it's on the corner of Main and First. The corner of Main and First. The corner of Main and First. 
Four. Can you help me? Is there a restroom around here? Oh, sure. There's a restaurant not far from here. They have a restroom. Go up this street for two blocks and turn left. Thanks a lot. Go up to the street. ¿Por cuántos bloques? ¿Por cuántas cuadras? Two. Two. No, two. two. Exactly. Aquí dice go down. ¿Es correcto decir go down? ¿O qué dijo? Go up or go down? ¿Qué dijo? Go up. Go up. Ah, go up. Aquí tenemos dos de ellas. Dice for three blocks or for two blocks. Two blocks. There you go. And turn left. Yes. Then turn left. Excellent, guys. Very good. So go up the street. Okay. For two blocks. One, two. Son dos cuadras. And turn left. Cruza la izquierda. Okay. She can use. There you go. Okay. And the end of class with below sentences. A walk, una caminata sobre la quinta avenida. Ok. There you go. You can have. Ok. Ok, ok, ok. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in reading for details and making inferences. We'll do this by reading an article titled, A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. A Walk Up Fifth Avenue, one. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue between 33rd and 34th Streets. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator Wait. to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. Two. Now walk up Fifth Avenue seven blocks to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe, and at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Three. Walk up 6th Avenue to 49th Street. You're standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block, and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink there. Four. Right across from Rockefeller Center on Fifth Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick's and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from France. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, now if you take a look, Si se fijan en esto, ok. So it says start your tour at the Empire. ¿Cómo es? Fifth Avenue. ¿En dónde? En 44 Street. Está en medio de aquí, ¿verdad? Yes. This building has ¿cuántos edificios? ¿Cuántos pisos? 102. 102. Elevator to the 102 yes, for a great view of New York City. Okay. Now, le voy a preguntar el siguiente. Now, walk up Fifth Avenue, seven blocks. ¿Para qué van a preguntar? ¿Dónde van a caminar o cómo van a caminar para ir a, a New, New York Public Library? ¿Cómo se llama? Subir o caminar hacia arriba eh, siete calles o siete en la siete calles en, en la quinta, en la quinta, en la quinta avenida, ajá. Siete calles. Seven blocks, it means siete cuadras. 
Siete cuadras, siete excelente. Cuadras. Ok, en este caso serían siete cuadras. Fifth Avenue, la quinta avenida. Y stops, ok. Y en trans is between, ¿a dónde está la entrada? ¿Entre qué? Entre la calle 40 y la 42. Entre la calle 40 y la 42, ok. This library holds, ok, behind the library. Atrás, ¿qué hay detrás? Behind. ¿Qué significa behind? Atrás, ¿verdad? Atrás. ¿Atrás de qué? ¿Qué está? Yeah. Atrás. La librería. Yeah. ¿Qué hay detrás de la librería? Brian Park. Brian, Brian. Brian. Brian Park. Ok, there you go. Excellent. There. Ok. Walk up. Yes, no. Walk up 6 Avenue. Continue, please, reading. Ok. Ok. Now, ¿dónde vamos a encontrar el Rockefeller? Por favor, dígame. En la calle 49. Caminar. A la Ford. Ok, so tienen que caminar hasta la 6 Avenue, ajá, to 49 Street. En la 49 Street. Uh -huh. Ok, On, ¿qué significa de miro? De miro como media. En medio de, or between, o en medio, en medio okay. de la 19. Ok. Building del puente. Ok. De la construcción. In the middle of the 19 buildings. Ok. Now, 19 buildings of Rockefeller Centers. ¿Qué pasa mm -hmm. después? Dígame qué significa Tour Ride on 49th Street. ¿Qué significa? A la, la derecha. derecha. Doble a la derecha. Doble a la derecha. Gira la derecha. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. There you go. Now. Uh, tour. Ok. 49 So it is left. Okay, turn right on 49th Street, walk another block. ¿Qué significa walk another block? Okay. And turn left. Y luego cruza a la izquierda, ¿verdad? Turn left. Cruza a la izquierda. Camina una cuadra más y cruza a la izquierda. Okay. You are in. ¿A dónde estás dentro de? Rockefeller Plaza. Rockefeller Plaza. Ok. Now, the next one is in front of right across from Rockefeller. ¿Qué hay en frente de Rockefeller? Ok. ¿Qué está? And Patrick Cathedral. Fifth Avenue. Ok. ¿On ¿Dónde está sobre la quinta avenida? ¿Qué está? San Patrick, San Patrick Cathedral. Cathedral. Ok. It's model this. Uh, hold on, please. It's model after cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Ok. Go inside. I'm sorry, go inside St. Patrick's. Ok. Dentro, yes, of St. Patrick's. And leave the noisy city behind. Ok. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these uh, windows come from France. Ok, quiero saltar un poquito porque necesito avanzar con esto, ¿verdad? There you go. Entonces, es más que todo estos detalles de las direcciones across. Todo eso se basa en direcciones. No se preocupen, chicos. Es un sencillo. No quiero que se me vayan más por palabras y que sea demasiado texto. No, tranquilos, que es más que todo las proposiciones que tenemos que verlas. Por eso le enseñé la pelotita la vez pasada. No, ok. Hold on, please. Okay, now, this is the, I think that this exam will be yours. Creo que este sería su examen, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. En general, me, generalmente me imagino que lo hacen solos, ¿no? ¿O sí? Sí, sí, sí. Ok, vamos a hacerlo entonces cada quien en su plataforma, ¿les parece? Y vamos a calificar ahorita. No sé si se puede... Um, si lo pueden yo, hacer no. ahorita. Yo, yo ya no. lo hice. Sí, ya lo hicimos. ¿Ya lo hicieron todos? No. Sí, ya. Yo sí. Yo, yo, yo no, no lo he hecho. Vaya. Yo tampoco lo he hecho. 
Ok. A ver, levanten las manitas quienes no lo han hecho para tenerlo, por favor. En cuenta. Ya se me la manita. Ok, Sandra, muy bien, excelente. El resto sí lo he hecho. Va, perfecto. Ok, we're going to listen to the conversation 3. Vamos a escuchar la conversación. Ok. <ríe> y bueno, prestemos atención. Ahí déjenla, ahí déjenla, manita. Solo levántela que no la ha he hecho. Excelente. Ahí déjenla levantadita. One. Are you going to do anything special? It's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. Okay. Now, let me check. Um, Sandra Lisbeth, how, yes, Mark is going to be, yes? 13. Okay, Sandra Lisbeth. El audio no lo escucho. ¿Lo escucharon? No. Yes. ¿Lo sí. Yes, yes. Ok. Hold on. Ah, pues, Vanessa, no se preocupe. Vanessa, how old is Mark going to be? Uh, 13. 13. Excellent. 13. There you go. Very good, Vanessa. Now, let's going to continue. We're going to continue with the next one. Number two. 13. He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Two. So what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Okay, Susie. When are they, when are they going to have the party? On Saturday. Thank you, Susie. There you go. Now, let's going to continue with the last one. Everybody can come that day. Three. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. Okay, Salvador de Jesus. They are going to. ¿Qué van a hacer at the party? Salvador de Jesus. Okay. Eh, perdón, no escuché bien el audio también. Sing songs. Sing songs. Sing songs. Okay. Okay. Sing songs. There you go. Okay. No worries. There you go. Vamos con la siguiente. Esto se lo voy a dejar porque es largo y por lo que veo es todo su examen. Así que lo voy a ver yo y se, se lo voy a ver. No voy a continuar con esta sección. Sin embargo, quiero ver más o menos eh, lo del examen, perdón. Ok, midterm exam. Now, ¿quién tiene preguntas respecto al going to? Quiero que me pregunten algo. ¿Tienen preguntas respecto al going to? Si no es así, quiero que me levanten todas las manos. Todos y se las voy bajando uno por uno. Así voy a irlos haciendo que participen. Todos levanten la mano, por favor. Todos. Excelente. Ok. Y el resto no va no a participar. Teacher, fíjese que yo tengo una duda en una en una evaluación, creo que era, en donde estaba I don't know. Exactamente. I... Permítame, ahorita todos levantemos la mano para irlos probando uno a uno. Eso es lo que quiero hacer. Si no al parecer solo tengo un cuantos alumnos. Ahí se me están uniendo ya. Ok. 
Wendy, este equipo, ¿me, lo, me puede levantar la mano, por favor? Sí. Ok, ¿puede levantar la mano? Para irla pasando. Muy apuesto. Muy apuesto. Puede ser grandioso, ¿no es así? Sí, señor. Me gustaría ganar algo el peso. Ok. There you go. Ok, vamos a empezar entonces. Ok, vamos a empezar uno por uno. Ok, empezamos con Francisco Alexander. Francisco, por favor, me puede hacer una um, oración. Yo le voy a hacer una oración y usted me va a responder. Okay. Are you going to eat sushi tomorrow at Sushiito? Francisco me responde afirmativo o negativo, por favor. Are you going to eat sushi at Sushiito? Eh... No, uh -huh. um, I'm not uh, going to sushi eat. Going to qué? Recuerda que vamos going uh, to y el going verbo. To eat, going okay. to eat sushi. That's sushi eat. Yeah, su sushi eat. Excellent, Frank. Very good. Okay. Now, okay. we're going to continue with Elizabeth Gomez. Okay, Elizabeth Gomez. Continue, please. ¿Ah? Vamos con otra oración. Ok. Where are you going to play soccer? Where are you going to play soccer? No, it's not going to go. Where? ¿Qué significa where? ¿Dónde? Ajá. Uh -huh. Where are you going to play? ¿Qué significa going to play? ¿Dónde vas a ir a jugar? ¿Dónde ir a jugar? Uh -huh. Ok. There you go. Excellent. Now, I am. Continue. I am. Going to go mm -hmm. play soccer. Okay, where? I am going to play soccer at, I don't know, dígame, at Cafe Talón. I don't know. <laughs> it's just one thing. Yes, there you go. Now, are you going to dance? Tonight, are you going to dance tonight? Acevedo Perez, are you going to dance tonight? I'm not going to dance tonight. Okay, y afirmativo, por favor. I'm going. Yes, I'm going. I'm going to dance tonight. Excellent, very good, very good. Okay. There you go. Now, Jenny Gloribel. Okay, next one. Jenny Gloribel. Um, is Karen going to study tonight? Is Karen going to study tonight? Uh, yes. Karen going, going to uh, study. Yes, Karen is going to study tonight. Excellent, very good. Okay, now. And the next one, Jenny Gloribel, there you go. Bajar la manita. Okay, Susie. Um, are Patty and Vanessa going to, let me check, going to what? Drink wine today? Are Karen and Vanessa going to drink wine today? Wine significa vino. ¿Podría repetirme la pregunta? Are Karen, yes, let me check out. Are Karen and Patricia, está bien. Are Karen and Patricia going to drink wine today? Wine today? Yes, wine significa vino. Uh, 
Um, sería... En negativo, puede ser en negativo, si gusta. Okay. Okay. Vamos a cambiar el. Vamos Sorry, a... Uh -huh. Okay, vamos a poner un ejemplo okay. diferente, mejor, tranquila. Okay. Mm. Are Sandra, are Sandra and Janet? Yes, are Sandra and Janet, Janet, going to uh, dance salsa tonight? Are Sandra and Janet going to dance salsa tonight? Negativo sería no. They are. Uh -huh. No, they. Porque salsa, esa es Sandra y Janet. They are. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería, chicos? No. ¿Alguien que me ayude? No, they are. No, they are. No, they are going. No, they are not going to, exactly. No, they are not going to. Ok, recuerden el not, no, they are not going to, negativo. Yes, they are going to, ¿verdad? Ok. Now, los double H question. ¿Qué significa los double H question? ¿Quién me puede decir cuáles son los double H question? What, where, 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 What? There you go. Está bien, ya estamos ya con varias, ¿verdad? How, when, where, why, etc. What time? Then it says, next summer, we're going to Alaska. ¿Qué fue lo que le preguntó en otras palabras? ¿Ah? Next summer, we are going to go to Alaska. ¿Qué pudo haberle preguntado aquí? Where are you going to go next summer? Ok. Obviously, you are going to find the answer. Van a encontrar la respuesta en base a lo que se pregunte. Por ejemplo, si yo les pregunto, where are you going to learn English? Me van a decir, I am going to learn English at 7 p.m. ¿Sí o no? Where are you going to? Ok. When are you going to learn where? English? No. Where? When? Is it correct? When are you going to learn English? I'm going to learn English at 7 p.m. ¿Está correcto? If you say when, yes. Are If you, you sure? say where, no. No, it's when. The ¿Están seguros? La, la hora es la que no está correcta. Ah, entonces, ¿cómo uh -huh. se le pregunta? When are you going to... Dijo la hora, I... tiempo específico. When what pudo haber sido... Yes. What, what time? What time? What time? Usted puede haber sido 7 p.m. When it will be at night. Yes, mm -hmm. at night. Mm -hmm. And what time? ¿A qué horas es más específico? At 7 p.m. Okay. Now. Uh, who are you going to play soccer with? Who are you going to play soccer with? ¿Qué significa el who? ¿Con quién? Con quién. quién. Con ok, quién. ¿con quién vas a jugar fútbol? I'm going... Who are you going to play soccer with? Ajá, dígame cualquiera. I'm, I'm going to play soccer with my friends. Excellent, very good. Excellent, excellent. There you go. Ok. No. We're going to continue with the next one. Uy, I'm sorry. Complete the conversation, ok. Vamos a ver. ¿Se acuerdan las partes del cuerpo, chicos? Esto solo es como un review. ¿Cómo se dice cabeza? Ok. ¿Cómo se dice estómago? Pero esto, alto, alto. Jerex no, se dice head. ¿Se acuerdan de cabeza? 
Evet. Evet. Okay. Estomago. 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 Okay. Luego aquí puede decir, ¿cómo sería? What do you feel today? Sería bueno, correcto. Yes. How? Yes. How? How, chicos? How do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes, verdad? Okay. Now. Eh, vamos a ver otra, otra, otra. Remedy of its condition. Ok. Se recuerden, esto lo pueden ver anteriormente, ¿verdad? Si pueden leer uh, de, continuamente, delicado, automáticamente aparecen los remedios. Aquí les preguntan los remedios. ¿Cuál funciona para un, una tos, un resfriado, un dolor de cabeza o el insomnio? No van a pensar la sopa de pito, dice que. Ok, so here we have que es lo que pueden tomar por a cold. Tiene que leer el artículo. That's why it says read the article, then select the correct home remedy. So, espero si se fijan, son pocas las preguntas que hay, son cortas, así que tranquilos, ¿verdad? Es corto el examen, examen por decirlo así, o una pequeña evaluación. Ok. Y es más, si pueden, ustedes hicieron toda la evaluación hoy. No. ¿Qué? ¿Y todo no. le hicieron? Yo le hice todo. No. Ok, Yo les la queda. No. Yo les no. queda como misión entonces hacerla toda hoy. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Ok. Solo se van a tomar, creo que a lo mucho, 10 minutos de su tiempo o algo similar, ¿verdad? No se preocupen. Ok. Now. Esta sería, creo ver, la segunda semana, ¿correcto? Correcto. Ok, yes. perfecto. Let me just take a look. Solo déjeme dar un ojo. Ok, me decían alguna pregunta con el do y el dos. Perdón que los interrumpí. Hablen ahora y díganme. Tranquilos. Uh -huh. Susi era la que tenía la pregunta. No. No, no. Ok, ¿quién es la, la persona que tenía la pregunta? Me decía que querían saber del don y el docent. Hola, hola. ¿Nadie? Creo que okay. realmente cuando se respondía en negativo, el going to. Ah, el going to en negativo. Ok, vamos a ver. Entonces, let me see. Hold on. Okay. Going to for future. Déjeme poner algo acá. Future. Ok, ¿cómo ocupamos el going to? Verb B. Vamos a empezar con subject. Subject plus verb uh, B. Plus I'm going to. Going to. Not. Okay, take a look. Affirmative. I'm going 
sorry, miss. I can see your. No your... worries, no worries. Right, lo hago. Okay, no worries. Okay, no worries. ¿Pueden ver la pantalla? No. 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 ¿Ahora? Yes. yes. Okay, there you go. So, going to for future, a primary sentence. Okay. Subject plus the verb to be. El verb to be significa is, are, and am. Okay. I am. Then we have the going to. I am going to eat sushi tonight. Estamos hablando de futuro. I am going to eat sushi tonight. Voy a comer. Going to plus the verb in the base form. Okay. Negative form or negativo. Okay, same thing. She is bird to be. She is not going to and the bird in the base form. Going to eat sushi tonight. Okay. Now, um, question. It is WH plus. Plus. WH question, where are, where to be, are you, porque el you, para, you, lo going to, lo the burn the base for, it, where you going to eat, then, sushi to me. Where are you going to eat sushi tonight? Okay. Where are mm -mm. you going to burn the base for eat sushi tonight? This is in future with going to. What is the pregunta que tienen chicos ahorita? Where are you going to eat sushi tonight? From the age question, verdad? <laughs> Porque no es lo mismo decir, is she going to? Que decir, where is she going to? Una cosa es para afirmarle, la otra cosa es para ocupar el doble H question. ¿Tienen preguntas? No, no, no. Ok. Si no, tranquilos, lo repasen después cuando vean la clase, ¿verdad? De a momento... 8.57 ha listo la otra clase ¿puedo dejar de compartir? Yes. ok por favor hagan sus preguntas por ejemplo ahí me dijeron tenemos dudas con el going to creo que más que todo ustedes no se atrevieron a decir con el do y el does o el done y el doesn't y de alguna otra manera si tienen dudas por favor háganlas saber incluso en el chat ok o inclusive en privado no hay problema y bueno, de momento me despido que faltan tres minutos para la otra clase. Así que. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.